maybe it's a question that has occurred to you as well, which is people say to me, hey, when are you finally gonna test string theory? And the answer I have to give is look, in principle, string theory makes predictions. In principle, any theory that puts gravity and quantum mechanics together that's worth its salt makes predictions. The problem, the challenge is that the predictions require us to access realms of reality that are quite extreme, very, very tiny lane scales, very, very large mass scales, large energies, and we just don't have the technology to access those extreme realms. And if the person is particularly inquisitive, they'll go further and say, well, like how small lane scales? How big are the mass scales? And I'll tell them, look, you know, on the order of 10 to the minus 33 centimeters, really tiny length or on the order of 10 to the 19 times the mass of the proton, which on particle physics scales is, is enormous. And if the person is not particularly inquisitive, they'll nod their head and say, okay, I get it. But if they want to push further, they'll say, tell me where you get 10 to the minus 33 centimeters. Like, where does that number come from? Or where does 10 to the 19 times the mass of the proton come from? Or an analogous question is how far can we turn back the cosmic film of the Big Bang to get a glimpse mathematically of the very beginning of the Big Bang? The answer there is you can turn the film back to about, in principle, about 10 to the minus 43, 10 to the minus 44 seconds, the Planck time. Again, a very tiny, tiny time scale. Where do these numbers come from? And these numbers are known as the Planck length, the Planck mass, the Planck time. So that's our subject for today. I want to derive for you, bring this up on the screen. I want to derive for you the so-called Planck length, as well as I'll quickly do Planck mass and the Planck time. And again, as you'll see, nothing more than algebra is required for this. But, you know, I love it when something mathematically simple gives deep insight into the nature of the world and the nature of the exploration that we theoretical physicists are engaged with.